We were once a peaceful race of intelligent mechanical beings. But then came the war between the Autobots who fought for freedom and the Decepticons who dreamt of tyranny. Overmatched and outnumbered, our defeat was all but certain. But in the war's final days, one Autobot ship escaped the battle. It was carrying a secret cargo, which would have changed our planet's fate. A desperate mission. Our final hope. Impact confirmed. Contact at 2250 GMT. What? Give me sec def on the phone right away. Mr. McNamara, the president is expecting you. Mr. President, designation top secret. We believe a UFO has crashed into the moon. We think the Russians are onto it as well. Well, then you tell NASA to move heaven and earth. We need to get to the moon. We're going to attempt a manned mission. NASA said it would take five years. You get there before the Russians. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal 15 seconds. before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. Ignition sequence starts. Five, four, three, two, one. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. is on the way, riding that uh, pillar of flame from the Saturn V out there 250,000 miles away where the moon is waiting for man's first arrival. Houston, you're a go for landing, over. Three feet down, two and a half. Pick it up and done. Three feet, two and a half down. Big down. Jump cop one. Perhaps 400 million persons are watching this broadcast today of the greatest event in our time and one of the great events of all recorded history. I'm uh, at the foot of the ladder and I'll step off the land now. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Are we good? Yes, sir. Unofficial time on the first step, 109.2. Eagle, we're getting a signal interference. Do you copy? 
now have had confirmation of loss of signal from the Apollo 11. The Apollo 11 is, at the moment, on the far side of the moon. Neil, you are dark on the rock. Mission is a go. We have 21 minutes. Seven minutes on your oxygen. We are not alone after all, are we? No, sir. We're not alone. Uh, go ahead, Mr. President. Hello, Neil and Buzz. I'm talking to you by telephone from the Oval Room at the White House. And this certainly has to be the most historic telephone call ever made. I just can't tell you how proud we all are of what you think. For every American, this has to be the proudest day of our lives. Because of what you have done, we had splashed out. The heavens have become a part of man's world. For one priceless moment in the whole history of man, all the people on this earth are truly one. One in their pride in what you have done. It inspires us to redouble our efforts to bring peace and tranquility to Earth. 